Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will begin talking about sensitivity in plants and the first part that we have is response to touch and darkness. Here we have a plant which is called mimosa and the uh, characteristics of response to touch and darkness are greatly obvious in this plant. So when somebody touches this plant or when night comes all the leaflets and the leaves of this plant droop as they wilt and when the stimulus is removed or when the uh, daylight comes the leaves return to their normal position again. This is a diagram which represents the uh, mimosa plants structure. So simply this is the stem of the plant. So when we talk about the branches here we have the swollen structure this part. This is called a pulvinus. Pulvinus. So a pulvinus is the small structure at the end of the branch and the slim part here of the branch is called rachis. So this is a primary pulvinus and this is a primary rachis. Each primary pulvinus carries a primary rachis. Then at each primary rachis we have four secondary pulvini. Its plural is pulvini. And of course each secondary pulvinus carries a secondary rachis. This one here. And each secondary rachis carries two rows of leaflets. Two rows of leaflets. One and two. So how is the um, mimosa affected by touch or darkness? Or in other words, how does it react to touch and darkness? Here, the pulvinus has a content of water. There is water inside each pulvinus. What happens is, the lower surface of the pulvinus, which is more sensitive than the upper part, here it contributes in this uh, response. This lower surface shrinks. So when it shrinks, the um, volume of the pulvinus decreases. So its content of water is poured inside the ratchets. So the water content inside the ratchets increases and its weight becomes heavier so it droops down and this water moves to the other pulvinus and other ratchets and so on till they reach the leaves so they droop. And when the stimulus is removed the water returns back again, or in other words, the um, lower surface of the pulvinus relaxes after its shrinking, returning the pulvinus to its real volume. So the water returns back in order to fill the pulvinus and the uh, drooping effect is removed. This is how the mimosa responds to touch and darkness. And we can see this in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and the next time we will talk about um, the next point in sensitivity in plants which is called tropism.
So what's proposed, that's what we'll know in the next time. And until then, thank you for watching and see you.